Who is Ahmed Al Hassan? What are his proofs to be the savior of mankind? When did the call of Ahmed Hassan begin? What is he calling us towards? And what is the goal of Ahmed Al Hassan? In the name of Allah, the abundantly merciful, the intensely merciful. Imam Ahmad al Hassan is a successor and messenger of Imam al Mahdi Muhammad, son of al Hassan, peace be upon him, to all people. The promised Yamani to the Shia Muslims and the Mahdi, whose birth at the end of times was promised by the Prophet Muhammad to the Sunni Muslims. The Comforter, promised by the Prophet Jesus, peace be upon him, mentioned in the Gospel, and the Savior whom the Prophet Elijah promised to be sent to the Jews. He set out with his great divine call in 1999 in Iraq, and from there it spread to the world. He came to the people using the proofs which the Prophets of God and his messengers used for their people. The divine text which he has made clear to the followers of religions according to the books in which they believe, and the knowledge with which he challenged the major clerics of all religions, and the call to the supremacy of Allah, in addition to Almighty God supporting him in the kingdom of heavens with thousands of honest visions of the prophets and the messengers that testify for him. And he has written a collection of books containing great aspects of the divine knowledge which he has started to transmit to the people, including the Book of Monotheism, the Allegories, Enlightenments from the Calls of the Messengers, the Atheism Delusion, and many others. The purpose of his call is the same as the purpose of the call of Noah, Abraham, Moses, Jesus, and Muhammad. May the praise of Allah be upon them all. The purpose of the prophets and the messengers is for monotheism to spread on every spot of this earth, and it is his purpose, as is the clarification of the Torah, the Gospel, the Quran, and that upon which was disagreed, and for the earth to be filled with justice and fairness, just as it has been filled with tyranny and oppression, for the hungry to be fed and for the poor to not remain without shelter, for the orphans to find joy after their prolonged sadness, for the widows to find what fulfills their financial need with dignity and integrity, and for the most important matter in the jurisprudence to be applied, justice, mercy, and honesty. To know more details about Ahmed al-Hassan, follow us on the Savior channel.